if you're a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, or actually any streamer at all, you guys would have known how much you've actually struggled on getting the perfect settings and overlays for your Streamlabs. So today we're going to talk a little bit about backing it up, because we all know computers, they got to like be formatted and reloaded in a yearly basis, otherwise they go so slow and they started crashing and stuff. So yeah, we're going to jump straight into it guys. So first thing first, you got to open your Streamlabs. So I'm currently using this to record, so yeah, just excuse all the multiple me's. So yeah, we're going to talk about uh, backing up your Streamlabs first and then we're going to talk about backing up your chatbot. So first things first, you got to go to settings. You're in the bottom left corner. Um, it used to be in the top right corner until I updated it. So then like most of the things changed. Like the top panel actually just went here to the side as you guys can see here. So you're just going to go settings and you're going to go scene selection. So this is actually where you do all of the exporting and importing for your saved files and stuff. So to make it simple you're gonna if you want to save it and let's see let's say you're about to form and reload your computer you're gonna export it and then I put it in a random folder anywhere you can get it easily and then you're gonna just technically put it on your external or on USB or CD it doesn't matter you're gonna keep it one side once you have finished format and reloaded your computer you're technically gonna import it so you're gonna put the CD USB external back in your computer you're gonna find a direction where you have saved it and you just technically import it so I just want to do this so we're gonna go export we're just technically gonna go desktop um, we can say new folder we can just call it streamlabs so yeah do be specific when you make the folder um, to say it is streamlabs because you get streamlabs chatbot as well and unfortunately if you do try to import the other one it won't work and then you might think that the entire thing was actually corrupted so yeah you're gonna choose where which we say is streamlabs I'm just gonna say stream labs again and I'm gonna say save so guys please know that this might take a while uh, the first time I actually tried to uh, what do you call it like exported it was over 300 megabytes big so if you're using a CD which I highly doubt make sure it's the DVD, the DVD CD but I mean like sometimes people literally run out of space and they've got so much stuff they do not want to lose and then yeah so this is the Streamlabs I think I'm just gonna leave it here for now uh, let it run maybe I can just minimize it so yeah hopefully you guys can still see me so once you guys do open your what do you call it maybe maybe I can do this I think that's going to be better, yeah. So while that one is backing up, yeah, we can move this one over here. Oh, successfully saved Streamlabs. All right, so if, as you guys can see, here's my Streamlabs. Here it is. It is 558 megabytes. That was actually real quick, real surprising. So yeah, for a lot of computers and people, it might take up a bit longer. I'm just saying I've got an SSD, so it's pretty fast when it comes to stuff like this. So yeah, there's our Streamlabs. We can go and close this up. Uh, when you're done, I just want to confirm with you guys before we move over to the stream chatbot that if whenever you, uh, let's say for example, you just finished um, reinstalling Windows, so yeah, then you're going to come, you're going to say import, you're literally going to go to where you have saved it, so unfortunately this one is already there because I just exported it, so yeah, you're going to go desktop, Streamlabs, and then you just click there, you say open, and it's going to exactly just put everything back to where it was. Uh, please note that your audio settings is not going to be the same. Your audio settings is going to be like, let me just drag this in here again, sorry guys. Your audio settings is going to be dragged all the way, like literally all your audio settings is going to drag all the way like the first day you actually started it up. So make sure you take a photo of it, or write the, the DBs, the decibels down and everything, so just to make your life much more easier. So yeah, once you're done importing, you can just close it up. We're going to go to stream chatbot now. So the chatbot is really awesome, guys. You guys actually don't even know about it. It is almost like a moderator. You can like give it commands. So people can actually like say, explanation mark Discord. It sends the Discord link. Explanation mark donation. It sends the donation link. Facebook link, Twitch, Twitter. It sends like everything. It also can send like... Um, messages every now and then like guys please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe or um, if you guys haven't checked out the vlog channel you guys can go check it out or here's a link to my latest video so this chatbot is actually really good and it just doesn't stop there it helps you with giveaways it helps you with sound files uh, even with queues like myself I do open lobbies on Fortnite so then I'll make like ex uh, make like open the queue for example let me just open it then for example everyone that types explanation mark join 
in the chat the name will appear here so we'll automatically look for the explanation mark join it will drag the person in here and it costs them 10 points so 10 points doesn't mean they have to get points by buying or anything no now, uh, how the point system works is the longer they watch my stream, the more points they gain. So it's literally just by supporting and they get extra points. And the nice thing is, is that if you do a giveaway, also it uses points as well. So maybe you can say, for example, the people that do end up like watching you the most can enter the most because they've got the most points. But I think I'm actually running away to what I've got and what I'm supposed to do. So once you're here in stream chatbot, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go here to the person saying connection. From there on, you're going to go cloud, and there you are, guys, exactly like that. So you're going to technically create the backup. Your backup has failed. Oh, uh, sorry, guys. Stupid me. You're going to pick up where. We're going to go desktop. We're going to go new folder. We're going to say stream chatbot. We're going to say open and save. Uh, make sure we just save settings, alright, and then create backup. Your backup has been created. As simple as that, it's very quick. It's actually like literally just a few megabytes. Um, oh, there it is. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, guys. There is no, that's my stream. That's yours, my stream. That's chatbot. Sorry for that, guys. So, here it is. It's very small, it's like 400 kilobytes. I can't believe it remembers everything. So, yeah, once again, when you do reinstall it, you just go import and then, yeah, then you just go and wait. Let's just see what it says. Import will allow you to, yes. And then you go, go to desktop, stream, um, chat. But, and then you technically just open that, it will obviously drag it in. But yeah, sometimes it also do give you the, like, an ex for an example, to save it up to like a specific cloud online. But th doing that, I just think for me is a waste because it's extra additional uploading time and everything. Especially with this, is much easier. It's going to make your process much quicker to get your PC up and running quicker. But anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and I'll see all of you guys a little bit later.